Hello again. We're going to be shooting a really short video here on the basics of drawing layouts. So I've got an object here on my screen, a basic shape, and we need to put it on a piece of paper, which is a layout. And so if you take a look down in the lower left hand corner, you'll, be, you'll see that there's a model tab, layout 1 and layout 2. Layout 1 and layout 2 are drawing layouts. And so if we right mouse click on the layout tab, not even not left mouse clicking, but right mouse clicking to get the options, you can see that we can move or copy them. We can rename it so we don't have to call it layout one. We can give it a specific name of a view if we wanted to. Uh, we could also do drafting standard setup. And you're thinking, well, drafting standard setup, what does that entail? Well, the drafting standard setup deals with how the objects are going to be projected um, the shading quality and how threads are going to be shown in a drawing. So again, basic drafting standards associated with the views that you'll see on the layout. The other thing that you'll see is that we can hide the model and layout tabs. You don't want to do that, but it is possible um, for that to occur. You can also utilize the page setup manager. It's not active right now but we can uh, do a page setup which allows you to uh, create the sheet size and so forth and we'll work on that in, in uh, just a couple minutes. We'll also select from a, uh, we'll create a new layout here so it'll become layout 3, I'll right mouse click and again I can rename it and we'll work in that case we'll do this as sample. Again something simple, I can hit the enter key and there's our sample. If I click on the sample it brings up a drawing sheet. Now that I'm in the layout, you'll notice that my options have changed. I can now change my page setup manager. Well, the page setup manager is the paper size. So right now I've got images on layout one and on sample. And it shows me what my printer is and I can modify it. So sample, I can modify the paper. Right now it's eight and a half by 11. I can change it to whatever my printer is available to. Um, my output, if I change my output to, uh, let's say, uh, drawing to a PDF file, then I can actually change it and make it a B size, C size, or D size drawing also. So again, I can control it based on the, the way that it's going to print. I can control to see exactly um, what that may look like. So I'm going to do a B size sheet which is 11 by 17 and what I'm going to, going to plot will be the layout and we're going to plot at a one-to-one -one scale we're not going to offset anything and we'll choose OK. You'll notice that the paper size now is updated to the new dimensions. Let's talk a little bit about the dashed lines and the solid line here in, in our object in the middle. The dashed lines is our printable area. So every printer has an area that it can print and not print. Could be where the rollers grab the piece of paper to move it through the printer. Uh, could be, in this case, it's a PDF, so it, it's basically a margins scenario. The solid line is known as a viewport. Now the viewport is our window to the model, and we can and the viewport acts like an object. So I can grip it, I can stretch it. And so typically, and I can hit escape to get out of the grips as usual, and you can see that I can stretch it just so it's on the outer edges of that plottable area. So the, so the line itself won't be plottable. You won't see that line at all in any of the drawings. If that line is within the plotting plottable area, it will show up. Huh. So what scale are we plotting at? Well, the paper size is 1 to 1, so it's an 11 by 17. Our drawing here looks like it's, what, f a little bit of uh, 4 and 5 eighths, and the overall length is somewhere in the vicinity of about 5-ish to 6. So, that's not 1 to 1. How do we know what scale factor it is? Well, if you remember a song, you know, it's a song that, that you've probably heard uh, when you were growing up it's called the Hokey Pokey and if you think about the Hokey Pokey you know it's 
left foot in, left foot out, left foot in, shake it all about, do the hokey pokey, spin yourself around, that's what it's all about. Well, we need to double click in and double click out. So you double click inside the viewport, or you can double click outside the viewport. When you double click inside the viewport, down in the lower right hand corner, there's a value that's displayed and it's called the viewport scale. Right now my viewport scale is 0.653689. Not really usable. However, if I left mouse click on the viewport scale, it's going to give me a whole bunch of usable viewport scales. So if I set my scale to 1 to 1, now my object is full size. That's a 1 to 1 image of the actual object. If I don't like that, I can make it one half to one. Excuse me, these are one to one. This is, you have to be careful because these are architectural scales. One eighth inch equals a foot, one inch equals a foot. And so when you start looking at things, you might want a half scale. Um, half inch equals a foot would be a half, would not be a half scale. As you can see, it's way less than half scale. So you'd have to put in a custom scale. And so if you want a one half in, or half scale, what you can do is add 0.5 equals 1. Paper units is 0.5. Drawing units is 1. And now when I choose it, that's half scale. This is full scale. And you'll notice what happened is now that I've added it, it's on my list and I can use it as a normal scale factor. So the key is finding the right scale factors that you need to use for your drawings. Initially, putting it on the sheet without a title block uh, is okay. We'll get into making title blocks here in a week or so and you'll then be adding title blocks to your drawing. So when you're finished, what you'll want to do is double click out and then you can print your work. You know, obviously you want to save it and then you can go to print. And if you go to print, you want to use the plot option. It'll again have your just like the setup of that, you'll have your printer, your size, what you want to plot. You'll either want to plot the layout. In this case, if you're plotting the the sheet of paper, you want to plot the layout. If you're plotting from the model tab, you want to plot the extents. And the scale factor, you can type in the exact scale factor of plotting. If you're plotting the layout, it will always be one to one because it's what you see is what you get on the screen is your paper. And so it makes it real easy. Also, don't forget to save your work during and prior to plotting. Have a great day.